you're kind of numb as well. We've been on the air for six years. Yeah. And I say this with the utmost of love and respect. <laughs> I don't recall anybody associated with this show having a rougher sports weekend than the one that you potentially just went through. And um, by that I mean, yeah. again, wasn't great. <laughs> it's not just your teams. It's also the teams of the person, of the, the uh, mother of your masculine child, yeah. okay, yeah. who's an Atlanta sports fan, a Georgia sports fan. So, honestly, to review, yep. if you don't mind, because, again, yeah. I would, if this was appropriate, come over and give you a hug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, because yeah, honestly, you, you you watched the Patriots do what they did, okay? Just On the same day the that Brady that. and Gronk go off for Tampa. I didn't even think about that element. Today. On the day <laughs> of the night where the Dodgers complete the latest yeah. comeback on an Atlanta team mm -hmm. <laughs> with Mookie Betts doing Mookie Betts things. Robbed a home run. On a he weekend... Did. Also in which Sarah's beloved Georgia Bulldogs got a big lead and then lost it to an Alabama team that just looks like they're yeah. loaded for bear once again, coached by a man who remarkably comes back from COVID-19 <laughs> to take down his mask and bark at officials. And by the way, could you imagine if Bill Belichick had done that, what would be going on in the NFL right now? Yeah. Also on a weekend in which his own alma mater loses to Liberty. At home. To fall to wait for it. I looked it up. <laughs> Six and 11 since Coach Dino Babers called him on the, the show. show to wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so it, he's like, there's a, there's a cooling all over the place right now. <laughs> But, and that, I started watching the cooler over the weekend. Well, maybe that's part of it. I don't know. It was on cable. But the Falcons did win. Yep. In a manner that nobody, <laughs> saw, nobody coming. saw coming. Poor Dan Quinn's got to be sitting at home saying, now, really? <laughs> but in a weird way, that's a loss because they're now out of the Trevor Lawrence hunt. That's uh, a win for me. But honestly, I mean, uh, my my football team dropped to zero and six, and not just any old zero and six, but zero and six with an average margin of loss being eighteen points. They haven't even come within two possessions of somebody this year. I know year. you don't follow Sometimes. Rich, but people are making money betting against the Jets. I'm right sure. Now. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Free money. Joe Flacco took a 28-yard sack yesterday. I am a 51-year-old man. I've never even seen that. A How does that happen? I don't even want to comprehend it. But altogether, I feel for you, man. Yes. That's a, that's a tough weekend. Rough. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.